Hello, my name is Dave Choi and this is Kuba. And we're going to tell you about how Keys House has changed people's life for the better. In Keys House, we've got a range of different facilities. We have a gym, sports hall, table tennis, we have an Xbox and even a boxing ring. And now we'll, we'll take a tour around Keys House. Before we opened in 2014, we were in a temporary building and it was quite small, quite dark. So where we are now, it's just amazing and it's a great opportunity for young people to participate in. There's youth clubs, but this one's quite unique as it's very big and then there's a lot of different types of people in there. There's lots of opportunities, for example, sports, and it's not just sports, there's, mu there's like a music booth, there's, you can do cooking. In addition to that, we do debates as well. So we get, try and get them awake in their mind and stuff and talking about political issues. And I've just started a chess club, which we do. Also started doing some presentations about critical thinking. So I'm very, very a person that likes to talk about critical thinking and analysing stuff and not just taking everything for face value. Staff are kind and they, they're, they're always keen to help you. So, 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 that, so that, that makes it a positive atmosphere. Uh, Keys House is fun. I like it because I get to play ball like, or, or, as long as I want to. Yes. So when you wasn't at Keys House, what do you do? Um, I didn't do anything because I was at home. So why did you start boxing? Um, it helps me keep fit and keeps me off the streets. Okay. What skills, what life skills does boxing show you? Um, it shows me how to um, defend myself, like if people are on the road and I'm going to rob me, it shows me how to defend myself and how to control my anger. Javon Thomas will be showing us some of his dance moves. Keys House is just a really wonderful place where you can actually just be yourself, like you can make new friends, like it's actually really creative, like especially for the whole community. What are your first impressions of, of like Catholic Junction and the area around? Uh, that's a very busy one, lots of traffic, uh, diversity of people I would say. But it's really, it's really friendly. But again, you know, you have a variety of the shops. You have things that you can find in central London and the great areas. And also, you know, they're available here. So it's quite convenient. Soon you come out of the station, you can see Chow Block. That's the similar one that I live in, in Latmer Road. Um, it's a busy station up there. Today we are at Clapham Junction Station. Uh, this is where you could get trains to Kent, Brighton, uh, Central London and even airports. Um, you could also like you could get the overground or the national railway. You got a lot of shops around here and it's like it's quiet and you know you don't really see like people making big arguments or, or, or stuff like that on the street so it's, it's nice and calm. I think it's a, it's a diverse place and there's a lot of different types of people but it's a, like, a, a positive atmosphere and there's no negativity in like when I come here. It's kind of relaxed and as well has a lot of opportunity for like young people as myself to engage. This is my favourite place to eat um, to be honest in the entire world. I think it's better than McDonald's and KFC so check it out Steers. I tell you what they make the best chicken and chips you'll ever taste. Trust me. What life skills does football teach young people? Uh, it teaches a young person to be patient, it teaches them how to work as a team and punctuality to be on time. Football teaches you uh, discipline um, throughout your life. Cooperation, to mix with others as well, make new friends. A teamwork is a big one because 
later on in life you're going to be like faced with these and if you if you haven't been taught it at a young age then you're going to be a bit stuck when you're faced with it as an adult leaving your comfort zone means that you're like take taking another step like you need to go to other areas to experience other stuff so you can like explore different places that you've never been before and see different people gives you like more confidence to you know talk uh, around people as well. But there's many opportunities out there for all young people. For this building example, we're in Battersea, Wandsworth, um, but young people f come from across London. So we have young people from North London, young people from West London, because it's a facility that all young people can use. It's not just targeted to one postcode. I do understand that there's an element of fear. I totally understand that. And I, and I, t I, I understand it's a valid element, because there are people, where are you from, fam? I do understand that stuff there. However, um, when they say the world is your oyster, it's true. In terms of comfort zone and in terms of what you're used to, if it's a very small area, then your experiences are gonna, you know, um, reveal that, and you won't be that fit, that large-minded thinking. So, if you go to a different area and you meet different people, hopefully, it's a positive experience. It's gonna broaden, as I say, broaden your horizons. Uh, we moved here. Definitely, I think now the young people within the has the community changed since you have opened here. <laughs> Filming in Clapham Junction Station, and I was just here going to interview some people. What are you waiting for? 